Side by Side serves only people with brain injuries and people who've acquired a brain injury since they were born, whether it's from a fall or a car accident or a stroke or an illness. And we do that because everybody has in common this invisible, somewhat disability of thinking problems. Some people have physical problems too, but almost everybody has thinking problems or cognitive problems. And our society just doesn't really support that. We think, oh, well, once they finish rehab and get out of the hospital and that kind of thing, that they go on to a normal life, and some people do. But, you know, there are over 500,000 people who are living with severe disabilities from brain injuries. And so what do they do for the rest of their lives? And what do their families do? And can they go back to work? The other reason is that people need the support of another healthy mind to get through the day. It's not like just a wheelchair or a cane would do it for them. They, they also need somebody to help them think. And so that's something people can come here and help each other do so they can use their strengths. And everybody has different strengths to help each other get around whatever barriers they have. Here at Side by Side Brain Injury Clubhouse, we are one of the only facilities within the state of Georgia that knows and understands brain injury as well as we do. After a brain injury, your life changes dramatically usually. And you have to learn to deal with the new you. 10 years ago, she was um, assaulted by um, Brian Nichols. Um, in the courtroom. Um, she was, I guess, unhandcuffing uh, for a trial. He beat a sheriff's deputy guarding him and stole her gun. He's accused of killing a judge, court reporter, and sheriff's deputy at the county courthouse in downtown Atlanta and a federal agent in North Atlanta later that day. Actually beat her with the handcuffs. I think she had part one on and one off. And so he had to really, really beat her because um, they thought she was shot in the head. The first time I laid eyes on her at that hospital, she was unrecognizable. Cynthia came to us back in 2005, right after her injury. And I knew as soon as I saw um, the news that she would be ours one day and I talked to my co-workers and said she's going to be ours forever I can tell when she came to the clubhouse she was scared she um, had post-traumatic stress disorder and she had so many cognitive issues also she was confused and she was upset and she really needed a lot of support and so we were there for that and we were also kind of there to help her be anonymous and help protect her from people trying to ask questions and um, publicize things about her. And so she quickly became part of the family and she has such a big open heart that she just started sharing it right away. So now it's been 10 years and she's still part of our family. Once I started coming, I started like, you know, five days a week. And I know every day I got there, you know, we have a meeting, unit meeting, and we get our tasks for the day, and we try to do the best we can. She is a great um, cheerleader for everybody. She knows every member here and what their strengths and limitations are. And she can just slide right in and help them with something they need help with or reward them and praise them for something she's seen them do that they haven't done before. And so when she helps me lead a meeting, she's the cheerleader. And now she's helping children in a school, working in the library. And she's helping families of children with cancer working at Ronald McDonald House. I love helping people and talking with people and how you say sometimes we can reminisce and just think about the 
good times, you know, we have and the families that we have and different things we have to go through and how God makes us stronger. And so she's still able to show love and be love. And I just applaud her for that, for finding her gifts and using them no matter what the circumstances. We also have, we have a more message from the Secretary of the Senate, uh, Secretary of State, Lawrence Kemp, who also wants to recognize your outstanding service to the state. Thank you so much. I would like for people to know about Cynthia that um, she is still a dedicated servant. She's still a hero. Side by side, it has been a blessing to me. It's given me back the tools that I needed to be a parent, an adult, and people understanding what I'm truly going through with my life. They are my friends. We are family, <laughs> all of us, and I'm truly grateful. God knows how I feel. And how you say words, how you say just can't express it all. And I'm just truly grateful.